Okay, so this is my HP J120DX or whatever. It has the i7 4700MQ 17 inch with Haswell HD 4600. So I'm gonna boot using the EFI folder that I created and let's boot. So this open core 0 0.6.4 and this is my Big Sur Catalina SD. All right, this is Big Sur, the release version. This is the fastest laptop that you can have. This one is Haswell HD 4600 and i7 4700MQ, which is very fast. So if you, if you watch my video on how to set up the EFI folder for open core. So all I do is use everything exactly the same setup with all the folders inside except the ACPI. So each ACPI I patch different um, DSDT. So this config is for MacBook Pro 11.2, which is Haswell HD 4600. So if you look, it's exactly the same. MacBook Pro 11.2, but I patched this one. So all I do is change the SSDT to this. I mean, the SDT. Everything else is the same. Now, so the dimmer is working, although I didn't use the PMLF of 114, but I want to put it now. Okay. So the next one is the same USB X and DRTINA the plug power. So which one? This one is for the speed steps. So minimum is a 0.7 all the way up to 3.4, which is good. You have to patch the UIAC for different laptop. So this one's for 11.2 OC right there, okay? I have this one is patched perfectly for the MacBook Pro 11.2 on this one. What is the quirk on this one? nothing device property again since this one had the DW 1560 but actually this is an old version so it's not really a DW 1560 it's the uh, BRCM BCM 94 352Z I don't know if they have a Z or not but anyhow it works the same way. Okay, so the Bluetooth, where's my Bluetooth? It's not working. Bluetooth is here. Show on. And this Bluetooth is supposed to have AirDrop. So let's drop something. There you go, MacBook Pro. Except all right, so it's working. And the graphics, all I need to do is to change the graphic. And then I got full acceleration. Okay. Kernel is exactly the same. Nothing's different. Quirk. Now what is the quirk on this one? So AHCI port, I said no. 
uh, CPU lock I said no so just change a few things in here but the important thing is the ASCI port limit I got stuck on the USB so change that to no NVRAM add same thing so the sound on this one oh IDT okay so 92 HD 91 B XX so same thing all I need to do is put a LC ID 13 and it works now I need to change this one because the um, the Big Sur is different, but I haven't had time to do that yet, but that's not important right now. The platform ID I use is MacBook Pro. The serial number, make sure you want iMessage to work, make sure it's not active at an Apple website. So also check and make sure that iMessage debug has no problem all right so it looks good so what else is here everything else in here is exactly the same as in my EFI folder tutorial the only thing different is what is the quirk so the quirk on this one is ignore valid flex ratio request boot variable fallback and routing that's it so like I said, create the correct EFI folder. You can boot even with the old HD4600 as well. All the way up to the 8650. Bluetooth, battery, Wi-Fi, sound, all right, let's reboot again. Bluetooth. Hand up support. Camera is broken on this one. This one has the uh, DVD. Ethernet card. It's real tech. Look at this. It's an EN2. That's wrong. So I have to make it EN0 if I want to get the... Um, I message to work okay but because this external hard drive I use to test with so many different laptops so that's why the end zero change every single time graphics full acceleration there say that so I use internal silicon power one terabyte storage Thunderbolt there's none USB is working very nicely Wi-Fi is working so that monkey 13 is actually the 5G so the next one I want to try to do is to uh, create the EFI folder with the new Clover since a lot of people are used, still using Clover but less make sure the open core 0 0.6.4 works first okay okay so if you get everything correctly with the ps2 controller from rehab man you will have the trackpad 